uh, I'm very honored to be here today to join you uh, and to witness uh, firsthand the very excellent work that you are doing here at the NCDC National Reference Laboratory in response to the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and other infectious diseases. I'd like to thank the staff of the Nigeria uh, Center for Disease Control for the very warm welcome and for the great tour. The Director General has regularly updated me formally and informally on your work and especially, as he has mentioned already, at the monthly National Economic Council meetings, where we hold briefings on our response to the challenges to public health and safety created especially by the COVID-19 pandemic and the measures that we are taking to protect uh, our country. I uh, call the Director General very frequently to ask him all sorts of questions. I'm sure that he, by now, must uh, know that I'm forever on his case to find out what exactly is going on about all sorts of things. And he's very generously uh, given me uh, very great updates on what is going on and uh, how we need to respond to things or that. But I'm very proud of our public health workforce across uh, Nigeria, who have been doing outstanding work since January 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic was first reported globally. This is not only the most severe pandemic in modern times that uh, the world has seen, it is also the first pandemic response for the NCDC as our country's premier public health emergency response agency. Thousands of health professionals have been working tirelessly on Nigeria's COVID-19 public uh, health response. From the people across sample collection sites and laboratories, ensuring testing, and our dedicated physicians, nurses, and other health workers in treatment centers, providing care to the sick, to our, and also to our medical scientists that are conducting research on various aspects of this plague. We also, of course, have state public health teams working hard to ensure data reporting and analysis, contact tracing, risk communications, and so much more. Within this period, we've all worked extremely hard to activate testing in all states of our country. We have increased our knowledge of this disease. We have grown our capacity to swiftly identify those infected by the plague and render aid to them. I know that the work you do can often seem thankless and the long hours you put uh, is unnoticed and sometimes appears unappreciated. And often it happens that it is done in the background and in the shadows, away from public attention. And of, of course it will not often grab the headlines. But it only seems this way, in truth, this is the sort of work that builds nations and saves lives. This is the real impact of the work that you have been doing over the past 10 months. Your work has literally meant the difference between life and death for hundreds of Nigerians. And it's fair to say that the staff of the NCDC and all of those engaged in Nigeria's COVID-19 public health response represent public service at its very best in Nigeria and are an example of the type of public sector that we all want to see. Today, I want you all to know how much the government and the people of Nigeria appreciate you. Many of you have had to stay away from your families for long periods and have even gotten infected in the course of duty and we just heard how uh, the uh, how uh, a very how uh, one of you uh, I believe the name is Uche Joku lost uh, the life in the process of just trying to get the work done and just didn't get any mention. I mean, I, I don't recall ever hearing about it, but I think that our nation is truly grateful for the service of. Not, all, not only all of you, especially those who have 
put in so much and who have lost so much. And their families, of course, who have to bear the burden and, of course, the grief. And just hearing the personal stories of uh, Rahab, uh, of um, Innocent, and um, the and Emma, yes, and Emma, the three of them who, it's just incredible how much uh, in such a short period, you know, so many young Nigerians have been able to not only learn and invite, but also contribute to all of the public health uh, response that we're getting. I think that this is a truly transformational period in, in the history of our country. And it's a very silent revolution that's taking place in the public health sector. But it is certainly worth noting and worth commending ourselves for. Indeed, we remember, you know, and those who have given their lives in the line of duty while keeping the rest of us safe. You are doing heroic work and is often, as I said, extre in extremely challenging circumstances. But I must say again that we're all extremely proud of you. We agree that we have a critical situation on our hands currently, with the increasing number of cases being recorded. However, we have made a lot of progress since Nigeria's first case was recorded in February of 2020. We have activated nearly 120 laboratories nationwide, 70 of them public laboratories, and have significantly ramped up our testing capacity and case management. We have expanded the footprint of our sovereign public health response capabilities, especially at the sub-national level, and in areas where previously such capabilities simply did not exist. Not so long ago, test samples had to be flown out of the country for examination. This is no longer the case, as we now have capacity to process samples internally. This is not an achievement that should be taken for granted but one that we should consolidate on. This very facility is a testament to the strides that we have made during such a short period. While we are not yet where we want to be as a nation, we are most certainly not where we were at the onset of the pandemic. The excellent work I've witnessed today at the NCDC Reference Laboratory is one of the best examples of how this pandemic has produced at least one silver lining, a showcasing of the remarkable skills and talents of our public health experts here at the NCDC and of course across the health sector. Last week I was in brief meetings, in briefing meetings, listening to the landmark research of a team of professors from Luth and uh, the DG at Honor Minister of Health was also with me. Those uh, who have demonstrated the efficacy of the drug, uh, the ivermectin drug, in the therapeutic management of COVID-19, and are researching its prophylactic use. A few days later, I was listening to Professor Happy and his team, who have produced a groundbreaking rapid test, uh, but more remarkably, are developing a Nigerian anti-COVID vaccine. So, I, I, and I, I think that this is just incredible that all of this is happening in this country, you know, and of course getting very little mention. I think it's just the bad news that seems to travel very quickly, as they say. So to all staff of the NCDC and public health teams across the states, thank you for the excellent work uh, that you're doing. I want you all to know that your country is extremely proud of you. Incredible as it may sound, you are indeed making history every single day. No one could have imagined how well our public health system will respond to a pandemic that has left better resourced health systems completely bewildered. When the record of our response to this unprecedented threat to our public health is written, the efforts of the healthcare professionals will occupy a significant place with the thanks of a grateful nation. Ultimately, our aim is to emerge from this pandemic with our nation's health capacities strengthened and the overall resilience of our healthcare system enhanced. We believe that this is very possible. Because of your sacrifice, your commitment, and your dedication to duty, we can actually make this happen. 
every achievement and capability we attain as a country in tackling this plague from this point onwards mm -hmm. will be part of your legacy. Every life that has been lost to COVID-19 is a major lo loss to our country. With this in mind, we will not relent until we are set control over the critical phase of this pandemic. I'd like to also urge all Nigerians to continue to comply with the advice of our scientists and healthcare professionals and to continue to take every measure to keep themselves and their loved ones safe. We will come through this period of our history as we have come through all previous seasons of adversity by working together, by protecting each other, and by believing in each other and committing to seeing better days ahead for our nation. Again, I'd like to thank you very much for all your hard work. And thank you very much for a very warm welcome. Thank you. God bless you.